New additions? Wonder what they are then. Stick around and all will be revealed. Well, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly Sidings. It's been quite a while on this layout, I know, and um, to be honest with you, I almost seem to have got out the habit of doing videos all together. Life seems to have taken a hectic turn, shall we say. So this video is all about new stock that's arrived at the layout, some gifts from Christmas, some things that I've won in competitions, and one or two bits that I've bought myself. Now, there's some bit, some 16 ton mineral wagons that I've bought myself here. Now, they are quite old. In fact, some of them are trying and they have the original style couplings, which has been interesting um, to keep them on the track. Not so much these ones, but it's the more modern type that keep derailing from this. So my plan is that I've bought some jewelry chain and some magnets, and I'm gonna have a go at making my own. A little bit like on the cauldrons. I did have to park that 37 and the mineral wagons, unfortunately. One of the couplings broke and uh, trying to keep it all on the track is uh, a bit of a feat uh, with all the different couplings going on. So I've swapped it out for the uh, terrier there with the auto coach, uh, which is a very reliable runner. But anyway, coming on to the 66 and the um, RHTT, um, you probably realise that I've got one in Engage, which I made and this was a very kind gift from a friend, local friend. And uh, so I was really, really pleased when I, when I got that. Uh, you know, it probably did bring a big smile to my face. Um, I don't know whether I dare put two 66s on there yet um, because it might just pull the whole thing apart. They're very powerful, those two 66s. The other one's just there, by the way, but uh, there it is. So it's a beautiful addition to the layout, that. And as I said, I'll be thinking, well, what's this? So if you watch Jason from Barnabas Junction, just before Christmas, he ran a series of competitions where you had to guess the number that he was thinking of and just type it into the chat. So I was really fortunate to be able to choose the right one now quite early on as well. So I had quite a pick of the bunch, which, and I'm really pleased with this um, bundle of stuff here we got from Jumble Lane Printing from Jeff. So let's have a look at what we've got. So a big thank you to Jason and also to Jeff. So it's, there's some fantastic stuff here. So you can see there, we've got some post boxes and even some of the original style ones that are on a post, which I'm sure we could find space for one of those on the station. So that should be really nice. And uh, what else have we got? Oh, some brute fencing, so that, or Harris fencing, I should say. You can see we've got the, the stands, that, those concrete stands that they go in and they just slot in. They're all over the place though, so they'll need spraying up. And what else is this? Oh, some brute wagons. I think they're brute wagons, that's um, parcels, parcels wagons that sit on the platforms, and get um, pulled around with a uh, like a truck type of thing. So they're really good. Okay. And next up, oh, some platform steps. Yeah, so I have to think about how to use those, but uh, certainly very nicely done, I must say. I think all this is resin printed by the looks of things. Oh yes, some shopping trolleys. Got an idea for these. I'll show you that now. And that is in this area here. Um, if you remember, the original idea was to fill this with resin for water. So maybe two or three of those poking out the top might look quite nice. So it's, uh, we'll see how it goes with that. Let's have a look, we'll see what else there is. Right, next up then. Oh, we've got some girders. And very nicely done as well they are too. Um, some lovely riveting going on on those. So we'll have to, again, I have to have a think about where I can put those. I'm sure there's a place somewhere on the layout we can use for that. 
and uh, last up, I think, yep, um, I think these are tables and chairs, yeah. So it's, oh, perhaps you've got to assemble the table, I don't know. But anyway, it would be interesting to open those up and uh, have a look. Oh yeah, there's, there's some round tables there, isn't there? So, but yeah, we'll have a look at those and uh, see what we can do with those too. But anyway, massive thank you to Jason and also to Jeff at Jumbo Lane Printing. Thanks ever so much. So, excuse the mess in the background there, but these are very kind gifts. Uh, so we've got another 16 ton um, mineral wagon top. Try and think about 3D printing chassis. So there's a couple of those. And these are lovely kind gifts. So a couple of those, Kitmaster, Dapol. And also, again, Dapol Kitmaster. We've got another 16 ton mineral wagon. I really want to try and get a decent rake of these. So I'd be interested to see how that kit turns out and hopefully it will run better than the ready to run versions. <laughs> the Dapol ones are causing a few issues at the moment, I'm afraid, but that's the way life is. And there's a press flow. So there's that, which will go along with those three there. And there's an old set or two old kits, which I bought a little while ago and a ready to run one just there so i'm really really pleased with those um, i haven't dared take this out of the box yet <laughs> uh, because the, the couplings on this these are triangle ones as you can see there from the, the couplings that one must be i'm guessing sort of maybe 90s i don't know that gray one but you know so they all need a little bit of uh, attention let's put let's say so I'll just run a few more trains and uh, we'll call it a day on this one, I think. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the new additions to the layout and indeed seeing some trains running. It's been a little while on this layout, hasn't it? But anyway, I'll be back as soon as I possibly can. As I said, life has become quite hectic. So I'll see you very soon here on Piccadilly and Piccadilly Science. Take care.